Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. All right, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is as accomplished a submission specialist as we've seen cross into the UFC in years. And other than the Damian Maya types, most guys just aren't used to facing opponents at this level. You gotta think he'll be trying to get this fight to the canvas early so he can work to set up a submission. This guy has an incredible ability to control fighters. It's extremely frustrating for the man on the bottom, but once he gets the fight to the ground, oftentimes that is where the fight will remain. So here he is, ladies and gentlemen, on the main card for the first time. No more prelims for this guy, and rightfully so, given the winning streak that he has put together. Now the question beckons. As the fights get bigger, and the opposition gets better, and his popularity grows, can the performance dovetail with that type of pressure? There are more eyeballs on him tonight. Bigger audience in the crowd. Can he deliver, as he's done so many times in the past? Joe Rogan will find out in a few short minutes. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Kiesa is three years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, only a professional record of 16 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an ultimate fighter season winner, Michael Maverick Kiesa! And now introducing his opponent, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Milan Italy, the Behemoth. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan. You ready? You ready? Well, Houston, Texas has been a huge market for the UFC of late. And no surprise, we are back and now underway here from Toyota Center in the H-Town. All right, so here we go, early round one. And as many of you know, this is his first time on the main card. He's been a prelim machine throughout his UFC career, but the wins have started to pile up. And now he's going to take his shots at one of the division's elite. More eyeballs. Obviously, the crowd is full. Packed to the nines here. Main card has started. We'll see if he can get off to a good start tonight. Immediately shoots for the leg. Oh, nice single. Look at that. All right. First round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented, powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. Attacking with the Peruvian necktie. Gets his arm underneath his opponent's armpit and around his neck. That is just amazing technique. He might be forced to tap. This choke is getting tighter and tighter. And there's the tap. Oh. Great job. Didn't waste any time. Took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Well, yeah, Joe, that was fun while it lasted. He told us he wanted to be at his most efficient here tonight. He certainly didn't waste a lot of time. He knew he wanted to get the fight to the ground. He gets the early takedown, and the submission follows shortly thereafter. And here's the end of the fight. And as you can see here from another angle, this is an absolutely perfectly executed Peruvian necktie opponent forced to tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission.
So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Michael Maverick Chiesa! So first main card fight for him and one of the better performances of his UFC tenure as he celebrates there with his coaches. His team believed as the fights got bigger and the stakes got higher, his performances would get even better. That is exactly the way it played out here in this one. UFC lightweight division bout. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, He's more than comfortable, really, anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. He's an extremely well-rounded mixed martial artist. Fantastic stand-up, great wrestler, and very slick on the ground. He's worked hard to have world-class skills in every aspect of the sport, and there are very few, if any, holes in his game. So here is Super Sage Northcutt. You first saw him likely on Dana White looking for a fight. Came into the UFC as one of the youngest guys in the promotion's history and realized a lot of success out of the shoot. Stopping Francisco Trevino emphatically in his UFC debut. He's been up and down from there, but there is no denying the ceiling is high for Super Sage Northcutt. This guy has nasty chokes. His ability to cinch up a choke and finish it from any position is truly elite. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart with similar height and some different. Ready? Ready? And we are underway. Oh! Wow! Oh, he's landed some good shots oh. here. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. Tags him. Big punch from the bottom. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by Sage Northcutt. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Big shot from the bottom. Nasty ground and pound to the body. Oh, he caught him with that right hand. And now he's working from full mount. Just over three minutes now to go. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. And he reverses position. Northcutt gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Tries to pass, but can't. Excellent movement here on the ground. Look at this. He's out of it. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. And now it moves into full guard. Oh, he landed a right hand. Under two minutes in round one. Into half guard again. And he connects there. Big shot. He 
He's looking for that elbow. Well, he's always on the counter. Oh, beautiful. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Beautiful accuracy on the right hand for the victory. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Let's take one more look at this overhand right on the money. And the fight is over as soon as it lands. Here it is one more time. Boom. And then he's out. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight. And he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted into superstardom, former UFC featherweight champion, UFC lightweight champion, the only simultaneous two-division champion, and has become the biggest superstar mixed martial arts has ever seen in UFC history. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you gotta think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board, probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's gonna be comfortable in all areas of the game. Now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now it is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Milan, Italy, the behemoth. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Lamasaki. Here you go, first round. You ready? You ready? Let's and go, here on. we go. Well. 
Now with it. And just misses with that big right hand. Very nice. Just unable to quite find that range. These guys are exchanging huge shots. Well placed kick there, Joe. Oh, he's timing his shots nicely now. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. And they clinch here. The battle for hooks continues. He's got double under hooks now. shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get back in this fight. Good takedown defense. Very nicely done. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice knee. Battling for hooks. Hook to the head, lands flush there by McGregor. First takedown attempt is there. He's got an over and an under here. Shucks his opponent to the ground. Too easy. Oh, McGregor's face is an absolute mess. Blood everywhere, and that cut on his cheek, Joe, is only getting worse. Got double underhooks. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. That knee might have landed there. Muay Thai plumb now, Joe. McGregor gets touched by that kick there. He lands the head kick. That was a nice jab. There's that kick. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Here's a huge kick that stuns. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And there's some devastating judo. Very exciting round. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. Here you go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's second go. round underway. <laughs> Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, that was a no-doubter, Joe, and he's made a career of knocking guys out with kicks, but that one right there might have just been the best yet. Caught the opponent flush, full force, outstanding extension with the leg, and really, once he connected with the target, you knew the end of the fight was coming, and immediately his opponent goes to the canvas. A major, major result here in this division tonight. Great angle here. Bam! Out cold. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the
Yes, so there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight. And he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon. Only difference is my cloud is too massive. We active when Texas get knocked. All right, so here he is, folks. This fighter has been all the rage of late, but tonight what stands in front of him, a legitimate rivalry fight. He's been talking a lot of smack here during fight week. He does not like his opponent, and the same can be said reciprocally. His opponent doesn't like him either. Tonight, they close the octagon door behind him. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's gonna be comfortable in all areas of the game. Repping the 209 in Stockton, California. Here is the longtime UFC welterweight and lightweight staple, Nate Diaz. It's hard to imagine any fight that Nate Diaz is involved in not being pleasing to the masses. Of course, no bigger moment for him than shocking the world with a win over Conor McGregor at UFC 196. Nate Diaz, like his brother Nick, has devastating cardio, utilizes a long reach, outstanding, accurate boxing, and a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game to go with it. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Diaz is six years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milan, Italy, the behemoth. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 15 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, he is an ultimate fighter season winner, Nick Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. The octagon here tonight. Well, always great to be back in Houston, Texas. Good to have you with us tonight as we get underway with live UFC action. Run to yours. All right, so the rivalry resumes here. Here we go with round one. And let's see who can get off to a good start here tonight. Maybe we'll see a little bit of a feeling out process. But both guys have said, don't worry about my emotions. Once that octagon door closes, I will let my skills take over. Let's see how it goes here early, Joe. Lands a kick. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Diaz. Oh, oh my God! Huge right hand! Can he hang on? Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Oh, and another overhand connects. He's landed a few of those already, Joe. Effective punch there by Diaz. Push kick there to the body. Oh, big kick! Excellent movement here on the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
He's putting his hands down on the sides. He's looking to pass. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Diaz. Hits the reversal here and in the full goal. Again, working on a choke. He pulled out of it, he's out. Oh, nice punch there by Diaz. Working on another submission attempt here. He's free for the guillotine. Oh, he's got the neck. And he's out. Guillotine, guillotine. Let's see some of the action here. And there's another excellent attempt at the submission, but can't quite finish it. And here is one more submission attempt. It looked very tight, but couldn't quite get it. Brittany Palmer doing fine work as usual. Round two here. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. Oh! That one hurt him badly. Big shots! Now a right hand! Good right hand on the top, he's hurt! He's hurt! He's hurt! Beautiful Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. These are some bombs he has thrown. He's that out! He's out! Stop, stop, stop. Dropped him and then took care of business on the ground. Really excellent, excellent job. Yeah, Joe, safe to say he wasn't stalling or looking for a referee stand-up. He was looking to pound his opponent's head through the canvas, and he nearly did so with some of those hammer fists, man. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to put an exclamation point on a most dominant performance here tonight, and he certainly did that as he ends the fight by knocking. And let's look at that again. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop for this contest at 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... All right, so the rivalry fight lives up to the hype, and man, is that one happy winner right there as he celebrates with his coaches. He wanted this one in the worst way. And he gets it in a big way. Congratulations on winning this rivalry matchup here tonight.